Hello everyone and welcome to our Code for Kids course powered by Skillup. Today we are looking at JavaScript lesson number three of Test the Dog. Um, the last two lessons looked at functions and how we're going to introduce functions to our learners. And today we're going to recap functions, introduce a new function called the change color function. We'll be actually going to put a color inside the brackets, but we will get there. So just a recap, functions tell Tess to perform commands that she isn't programmed to do. What is the function called over here? So Tess is asking us what the function was called over here at the end of lesson number two. And remember, it was called build tower. Really important things to remember are those parentheses and then these curly brackets as well. So we had a tower of put ball, move, put ball, move, put ball, move, which made us a four ball tower. Today's lesson, uh, we're going to have a little look at functions again. So we've got this build tower function. Remember, we call it under the function instructions, but we define it below um, that curly bracket there. We define our functions. So we've got our build tower function over there, and it's made up of all of those instructions. And now we are saying, what can we call this? So we've got a move, 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 move. So we've got move five times, and so we can actually just call that move five. In, that, in place of that question mark, you can call that move five, and there you've got your new function, move five. So instead of typing in move five times, you can just type in that one command, move five there, move five there, move five there. So what you're doing really is eliminating a whole lot of, line of lines of code and saving yourself a whole lot of time. So in that question mark, you would fill in move five. All right, let's move on to the task. So we've got task zero and one together here. Remember task zero, you can do together with your learners. And that says, fill in the four missing question marks to fix the functions below. So we've got all these missing question marks here and we need to fill them in so that test reappears. So here, what we're missing here is the start of our story function instructions, and then that goes blue. The next question mark after the turn right with the two parentheses is that curly bracket, and we're missing that curly bracket over here. And then, what would be a put ball move, put ball move, put ball move? Not quite sure, this is quite a difficult one, but we're gonna go with a full row. Once test comes up, there we go. We can see that it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The same one we ended on last lesson. So that, that might be the only tricky one. We have given you the answers here at the bottom as well so that you can see, but those are all the four. And then make test drop balls like task one in the answer tab. So let's look at the answers. Cool, so it's going to be a full row and um, using that full row function that we have just defined. It's got a full row there. Awesome. So remember, this, these, defining these functions really helps us save time and save space. So we need to turn left. We need to move. We need to move again. We need to turn left. So what we're basically doing is taking all of this, but instead of a turn right, we've got a turn left. So I can actually just paste that in there, change it to a turn left. Call our full row that we have defined. Fantastic, so we have got that all completed and we have done, uh, it looks like the answer tab in, in task number one. So that's the end of task number one. Task number two, we introduced to a new function. Tess can put down balls of different colors using the change color function. Press play and see what she can do. So as we follow Tess, you know, she changed the color to black. She's moved, she, uh, she put the ball down, she's moved, she changed the color to red. She put the ball down, she's moved, she changed the color to orange. She's put the ball down and she's moved. So that's really exciting and something that the learners will, will love. So now we're gonna say um, for task two, the other colors she can drop are green, pink, purple, blue, and yellow. And so it's gonna be exactly the same code, we just need to change the colors. 
So again, I'm using the copy and paste. They might not do this. And our next colors are pink. You can also check the answer tab. It's going to go green, pink, purple, blue, yellow. That's in task two. Right, and then that is complete. So that was all new. And what we're putting in here is called a parameter. We're putting in a parameter. So inside the change color function, we are changing the parameter. Here the parameter is black and red and orange and so on. In task number three, we make Tess drop entire rows of different colors. So here she was dropping black and then she will drop a red. And we're going to make it look like the answer tab in task number three. So you have black, red, and then orange, green, and so on. So that's task number three. And what that's really doing is bringing together task one, where we introduce the full row function, and task two, where we introduce the change in color. All right, and then finally in our challenge, we're going to get test to drop balls in the shape and colors of your country's flag. Do this in as few lines as you can. We've got data rows and data columns. So that's a little hint there saying that if you need, hint, change the data rows and data columns above if you need. So if you want to make it eight and eight, um, you can do that there. So we've got a whole lot of different flags here. We've got the um, South African flag, we've got the USA flag, and a whole bunch of different flags. Obviously, if your flag isn't here, please feel free to make it and send it to us. We would love to see what, what your learners can come up with. But this is the challenge. It's ready to push your learners a little bit further. They can make functions here. They can change the color and they can really push themselves to do it in as few lines of code as possible. So they're going to have to think about it. They're going to have to map their flag out and then they're going to have to write all the different lines of code. All right, so thank you for listening to lesson number three of Test the Dog. We hope you have a really awesome lesson and that your learners enjoy it as much as we did. All the best.